the two main events that happened uh, in the field of head and neck cancer over the last uh, 30 years uh, include the discovery of the subtype of HPV related cancer, but in my view also include uh, the uh, advances in immunotherapy for treating uh, this disease. And we continue to see more and more advances in the field of immunotherapy, especially in the treatment of recurring and metastatic head and neck cancer. Uh, so this, uh, this past year, we saw the results of the Keynote 048, which is uh, a trial that has compared single agent PD-1 inhibitor pembrolizumab compared to the uh, previous standard of care, which has been the standard uh, for the last decade, which is the extreme regimen. And uh, uh, the results of this trial uh, are uh, very practice changing because it showed that single agent pembrolizumab for the majority of patients with uh, recurring and metastatic head and neck cancer uh, who have uh, a positive PDL1 or we call it a CPS score more than one, uh, tend to benefit more from pembrolizumab as a single agent compared to the, uh, 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 the multi-agent chemotherapy which, is, uh, which consists of platinum 5-FU and, and, and cetuximab. So we currently have a new standard in the management of this uh, recurring population. Immunotherapy is moving now to uh, be included in the armamentarium for treatment for earlier stage disease uh, and is included now in specific studies targeting HPV-related head and neck cancer. I can mention two large cooperative group studies that are looking into this question. Uh, ECOG Akron 3161 is looking to add nivolumab uh, to the backbone of cisplatin and radiation in an attempt to see if the addition of a PD-1 inhibitor could basically improve the outcome for patients who have a relatively higher risk of recurring HPV positive cancer. And uh, HN, NRG HN005 is looking on the other hand at the lower risk HPV positive group and trying to see what would be the best way of de-escalation of therapy using immunotherapy and a lower dose of uh, radiation therapy in that group. So both of these trials are now activated and uh, I encourage you, if you have not opened this trial, uh, or if your center has not yet opened this trial, to uh, go ahead and activate it and enroll patients on these two important studies.